What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. These seven star Inteleon raids are set to take place this weekend. So of course me and my stream came up with a couple of Pokemon that we think might be the best in order to take down these raids. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Bye. Bye. So per usual, let's go ahead and take a look at what exactly we're going to be going up against once we do get into these raids, besides a scrawny looking lizard. I'm not going to lie, Inteleon is definitely one of my least favorite starters, but you better believe I'm going to get it for the dex entry. But as with every single other 7 star raid, Inteleon will of course be level 100. Inteleon is usually a pure water type, however in these raids it will have the ice terra type, so we're going to have to look out for mostly water and ice type moves, since it does have a good variety of both. And considering the pattern that they've had with all all the past seven stars it will most likely have its hidden ability which is sniper which sniper is actually a pretty cool ability if inteleon does hit a pokemon with a critical hit that damage is actually multiplied by 1.5 so it does hit pretty hard and moveset wise these are the four moves that i think it will most likely have as its main moveset and then we'll obviously go over a couple of other moves that i think might be possibilities so i can definitely see it having snipe shot considering that is inteleon's signature move and it does play in nicely with its ability sniper since snipe shot does have a very high critical hit ratio. To play into its ice terror type, I can definitely see them putting Blizzard on there just because one, it has the ability to freeze you and two, it is a spread move. For another water type move, I can definitely see them using something annoying like chilling water just to lower your attack. That way they can nerf any physical attackers that you might be planning on bringing. And lastly, I can definitely see them putting something like Mudshot on there, not only because it lowers your speed, but because Mudshot is a ground type move. And if you're anything like me, you are planning on bringing steel types to this raid, which of course ground is super effective against steel, so it would definitely behoove them to put a move like this on Inteleon. Other coverage moves that I can see them putting on there are something like acrobatics or air slash, and I can definitely see them putting something on there like haze to eliminate any stat changes that you might be trying to set up in order to take Inteleon down. EV wise, Inteleon is a pretty fast Pokemon. It does have a speed stat of 120, and it definitely has a really strong special attack of 125. So it wouldn't surprise me if they do make it a special attacker, especially considering that its attack stat is only 85. Both its defense and special defense stats are 65, so you realistically could hit it on either side. It just kind of depends on how they're gonna go about things, whether they're going to try to nerf physical attackers or special attackers. But now that we have a better idea of what we're going to be going up against, let's take a look at the Pokemon me and my stream created as options to bring to these raids. So just like last time, we did come up with two different options for attacking Pokemon and two different options for support Pokemon. Keep in mind, none of their terror types really matter because realistically, we do want to try to take out Inteleon before we need to Terrastalize, so don't pay attention to any of their terror types because none of them really make sense. But starting off with our first option as an attacker, we have Scizor, which is a bug and steel type Pokemon. We did also decide to throw a life orb on Scizor just to help it hit that much harder to hopefully be able to one shot Inteleon. EV spread wise, you might be a little bit surprised to see this, but we did invest fully in special defense and HP. And moveset wise, we went ahead and went with sword dance, bullet punch, close combat, and iron head. And of course, we have the ability Technician on there since that does power up weak moves so the Pokemon can deal more damage with them. And of course, we gave it an attacking nature. And I'm sure you're wondering why we didn't invest anything in attack stat. And that's because Scizor already has an attack stat of 130. So realistically, we don't really need to invest in its attack stat since it already has a fantastic one. But what we do need to make sure is that Scizor stays alive long enough to be able to one-shot Inteleon. Not to mention Scizor also has access to sword dance so it can basically power up its own attack stat and as you remember on top of everything we did give it the life orb pair that with a couple of pokemon that can set up some screeches and you basically set up scissor for success and as we saw previously we know that one of inteleon's most proficient stats is that special attack stat that it has hence why we gave it full special defense for our second attacking option, we have something that is basically more of a universal choice here, which is Iron Hands. Iron Hands is a fighting and electric type Pokemon. And we went ahead and threw a Citrus Berry on there, which is of course a consumable item, but once you do consume it, you do restore your HP. For Iron Hands, the EVs are a little bit more stereotypical, and we did go for full attack and full HP, as well as an attacking nature. And of course, it does have the ability Quark Drive, which boosts the Pokemon's most proficient stat on 
on electric terrain or if the Pokemon is holding booster energy. Which obviously in our case here, as you can see from the movesets, we have close combat, electric terrain, thunder punch, and belly drum. So we would have to set up electric terrain in our case since it does have a citrus berry. However, the citrus berry comes into play with this moveset because as you can see, it has belly drum on it. Which of course, when you use belly drum, you yourself lose HP. So the citrus berry is there to restore that lost HP. And then ideally you're gonna wanna go in with close combat to hopefully be able to take Inteleon out in one shot to make sure that you're doing as much damage as possible by lowering Inteleon's defense. As for support Pokemon, our first pick here would be Umbreon, which is a dark type Pokemon. Umbreon is also holding a citrus berry to once again regain any lost HP just because for support Pokemon, you wanna make sure that they stick around for the long haul so that they can keep the attacker alive. EV spread wise, we went ahead and went full HP and full special defense for Umbreon as well, since once again, Inteleon's most proficient stat is going to be that special attack. So if you are getting hit by snipe shots, you wanna make sure that Umbreon stays alive. Moveset wise, we went ahead and gave it it's Snarl, Helping Hand, Screech, and Light Screen. Light Screen to, of course, protect the team from any of those hard hitting special attacking moves. Screech to lower Inteleon's defense. Helping Hand to help set up the attacker. And Snarl to lower Inteleon's special attack stat. And our second option for our support Pokemon would be Corviknight, which is a flying and steel type Pokemon. Corviknight is holding a Citrus Berry as well for the same reasons as Umbreon. And EV wise, we went ahead and, of course, maxed out special defense as well as HP and gave it a special defense nature. And what's cool about Corviknight is that it does have the ability Mirror Armor, which means that if Inteleon does try to lower you or your team stats, it'll actually end up lowering its own stats because of Corviknight's Mirror Armor. Moveset wise, we went ahead and went with Iron Head, Screech, Fake Tears, and Light Screen. Screech, of course, to once again lower that defense stat. Fake Tears is there in case you do decide to bring special attackers, and Light Screen to once again keep the team alive by making those hard hitting special attacking moves hit a little less hard by protecting against them. So definitely some pretty straightforward strategies and builds when it comes to this raid. Truthfully, I don't see this raid being too terribly difficult just because of the typing and because of the moves that Inteleon does have access to. It does have access to a couple of spread moves like Shadow Ball, Mud Slap, and a couple of others that we did go over previously, but it's definitely not as diverse as the past couple of raids that we'd had to deal with. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're probably gonna throw something annoying in there, but I can definitely see this raid going a lot smoother. But there you have it there are a couple of options that me and my stream came up with for you to bring to these raids. Let me know down below in the comments what you plan on bringing or if you have any builds that you would like to recommend for the Pokemon that we went over. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and if you did, I kindly suggest that you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you were already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.